everyone, this is Dr. Mahidhar from Daniel Photography Sky. In this video, I'm going to be talking about does our macro lens require image stabilization? Uh, so we have two kinds of handheld macro lenses. One is with a golden ring and one is with a red ring. The red ring one is with image stabilization. The golden ring one is the one without image stabilization. What are the differences between the two? Um, number one, the golden ring one is pretty light in weight. The red ring one is obviously quite heavy because it has a gyroscope, an extra motor that makes it heavier. Economy wise, this is uh, quite reasonable. Maybe it should be around 35 to 38,000. Um, but um, that image stabilization lens would be quite high. I think it sh should be around 60 or 70,000. I'm not really sure. But that's the difference between these two lenses. You need to remember that these both are 100 macro lenses. So, do we actually require image stabilization? The answer to that is no. Uh, because if you want to use this lens only for dental photography, because dental photography is only flash photography, as in, um, we use flash for each and everything in dental photography, image stabilization is not required at all. So what lens do we purchase for whom? So uh, if you're sure that you're going to be using a hydro macro lens only in your dental clinic, I would suggest that you go for the red, uh, sorry, the golden ring one. There's the one without image stabilization. And if you want to do a little bit of general photography outdoors without flash, then probably the red ring one would be a good choice for you because you can use that lens both for dental as well as outside. But whenever you're doing a dental photography, make sure that you put the image stabilization off. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want to know more about dental photography, you can put it in the comments below. I would, I would love to make videos for, on those topics. Thank you so much. And bye.